fellow technicians. Today I'd like to briefly discuss how to present our retinal camera in your office. Part of your success will depend on what you say, while the other part will depend on how confident you are while presenting it to your patients. For best results, I found less is more. We want to educate our patients without overloading them with information. Let's get started. First, I want to go over how not to present the retinal photos. Okay, Mr. Smith, uh, have you ever had a picture of your eyes before? Because this is our, our digital camera, and it takes a picture of the back of your eye to test for glaucoma, cataracts, macular degeneration, hypertension, uh, diabetes, tumors, and it is an additional $19 to the exam, but uh, do you want it? So that last presentation was a train wreck. Now I'm going to show you how we can educate our patients and use an assumptive close to maximize your success. All right, Mr. Smith, we're going to move over to our last machine. This is our retinal camera. We'll take a digital image of the back of your eyes. It's only $19, and Dr. Brooks highly recommends that we have it for your exam. We'll take them in here, and then he'll review them with you in your exam. Now, what was the correct spelling of your last name? So here are a few key points to always remember when presenting your retinal photos. So if you have any questions about anything we've covered today, please don't hesitate to let us know. Because as always, we're here for you.